I'm really wondering if this is even worth it. Basically, I was thinking here about how funny this situation is, uh, prophetically speaking, the situation that we're currently in. So think about this. <clears throat> when we are thinking that prophecies are being fulfilled today, today, 2016, future, essentially what's going on is we think that we're seeing a sign. Uh, an indication of the end of days and the funny thing about a sign is that the purpose of a sign is to be able to predict an event if we actually were seeing signs of living in the end of days then we would be able to predict the event like oftentimes in my own circle we have a, a sort of a, a dislike towards individuals who are date setters as we call them uh, but it's it's really funny the date setters are just doing the same thing as anyone else uh, they're taking events that are happening today and they're thinking that those are the signs of the end of days or the return of the Messiah. The difficulty is that they clearly are not seeing any signs. If they were seeing a sign, they could predict the event. But since they are not able to predict the event, it's very evident that they are not seeing signs. And of course the reason for this is always the same. Uh, it's because they are not obeying the context. Look, if you don't know who, what, where, and why, about an event, it's pretty difficult to say that you even understand the event at all. Uh, and what we do in prophetic passages over and over again is we ignore the who and the when. And since there's no who and when that we take into our interpretation of the uh, passage, the passage can pertain to anybody and it can pertain to any time period. But if you're looking at the context, you'll see that the who and the when is oftentimes uh, identified. And that's certainly the case with anything that you're taking from um, the New Testament in particular. So what they do is they take events that look exactly like they're described um, by Jesus. For instance, in Matthew 24, consider your uh, nation, rising against nation. Now that is the Greek word ethnos, which is just uh, where we get our word ethnicity. So an ethnicity rising against another ethnicity or a nation rising against a nation is not a new event or a sign of anything. The only reason that it is a sign of the end of time is because of who is seeing it and when it's going to be seen. If you don't know when the event is going to be seen, it can't be a sign. Uh, it's not a sign of anything. Uh, that's the difficulty that exists. We look at events that happen all the time today and we say that uh, these are signs or indications of the soon return of Jesus, which is, I, I don't even know what to call this anymore. Um, it, I, 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 I struggle to call it craziness because I myself have been a part of this. But you got to look at the text. When it says, what I say to you, I say to all, watch, does he mean you that live in 2016 or does all mean us that live today? Uh, absolutely not. The individuals that see the signs are the first receivers of the message. Those are the people who see the sign and are the people who see the return of the Messiah, confirming Jesus' words exactly, being that some of you standing here will not taste death until you see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. It's that simple. We do not live in the last days. We are not seeing the fulfillment of any prophecies today. The similarities that you're seeing between the text and the events that are happening in your day are just that, similarities. Uh, a nation rising against a nation happens all the time. The only reason it's an indication of the end is because of where it's happening, when it's happening, and who is doing it. Uh, saying that there's pestilence in various places <laughs> is describing a regular condition of the planet. Saying that there's earthquakes in diverse places is describing regular human existence on the planet. It's only a sign to the initial receiver, uh, who isn't you. Um, that's all it is. When people say that the fulfillment of prophecy is taking place, what they're saying is that a sign, uh, they're seeing a sign taking place. And unfortunately, it's not a sign. It's never a sign. The generation of people that exist today on the earth will never see signs at the end of days. No matter how many times they take the events and say that this is a sign. Notice that they say it as a question. Is this a sign of the end of days? And the answer is always no. The person who saw it was the first receiver, who are the people that lived in the first century. What else does a person say? Uh, but yeah, that's it.